Happy Sundays, everybody! Look who's gonna join me for the stream today. Say hi. Hi, Auntie Gail. How you know she here? <laughs> All right, so we're making our almost famous vegetable fried rice. Is this one of your favorite dishes? Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of Alina's favorite dishes. Um, I think it's really good too. And it lasts a really long time. So if you have um, lunch that you want to prepare for for the next couple of days, this could last um, you a while if you don't have that many people in your house. So if you're by yourself um, or if you have one other person in your house, this could last you two to three days. So um, and for me, I don't like leftovers to go past three days because Nobody really even wants to eat it at that, at that point in time. So, without further ado, we are going to start, right? So, we're going to make the sauce first, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our coconut aminos. I'm not gonna dip it inside, you're gonna pour it inside. Okay, that's good. So that's about um that's about a tablespoon and a half, right? So that's what we're gonna do for coconut aminos. Then we're gonna take our molasses. The is thick. Yes, and it's good for um, iron and calcium and copper, right? We learned that last week. Yep. And it's great for our skin and nails, and it has all the nutrients and vitamins. So we're going to do about a nice tablespoon of that as well. Okie dokie. If our tablespoon is full of the mess of molasses. Yep. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and syrupy with the coconut aminos. So that's beautiful, isn't it? Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do our peanut butter. I have two peanut butters. We got a peanut butter and a tahini, right? So the reason why we have our peanut butter and tahini is because you can normally use our um, sesame seed oil. However, we're, we, we're not going to use sesame seed oil. We're going to use tahini instead because the tahini has the same sesame seeds inside of it. And it's not another oil, right? So that's another way to, to take out too many oils in your food. Okay, right? mommy, I got you. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to take this and that's a teaspoon. A teaspoon. So we're going to do. Different than we're gonna, but you didn't even fill up the teaspoon. Okay. We're going to get a, a nice scoop in there. Like a nice big scoop like that. Okay? Perfect. Can I see what's the difference of a um, tablespoon and a teaspoon? What's the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon? So a teaspoon is much smaller than a tablespoon. A tablespoon is big as a table. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> a tablespoon is not. But it's big. So this is a teaspoon, right? It's usually used for tea. Yes, exactly. Usually tea is very tiny. Little tickety tickety tickety. And a tablespoon is much bigger, and it's usually if you are at like a restaurant. like a fancy yeah like a fancy restaurant, yeah. they're gonna give you a teaspoon or one of those little tiny spoons for different things, right? So you have to know the difference between your spoons when you're going to like fancy places, because they're gonna give you your smallest spoon first, which is gonna be for your Okay. <laughs> a little fruit fly. 
was trying to eat our molasses. <laughs> we wouldn't be vegan today, right? Okay, so. <laughs> but it, it went away. So now, for example, right? This is a baby spoon, right? But this is not, this is much smaller than a teaspoon, right? But they would use a spoon like this size inside of a restaurant for like sugar or like little like clusters or, or something. Lemony. Sometimes they use it for lemonade. They never make you make your own lemonade in a restaurant. But yeah, so we're gonna get some tahini, right? Because we don't want to be on spoons the whole day, right? So we're gonna take about a baby spoon. <laughs> Okay, so a toddler spoon, two toddler spoons or one teaspoon of tahini. Speaking of spoons, I've got an ice cream spoon. It doesn't look like an ice cream cone to lick. <laughs> This is not show and tell. Here you go. And I got a cup to put the, the ice cream and fry. Okay. It's bad to set. How? 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 Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so now we're going to add our ginger. All right, so. To the sauce. Yep, to the sauce. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's much better. Um, That's going to be one more. Good. Okay, that's okay. probably a little bit more. I like ginger, so I'm going to add... A nice, healthy amount. That's a healthy amount right there. Right? So this is what our ginger looks like. So this is what it looks like so far, right? And our ginger's right there. So now we're going to take our garlic powder. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. No, thank you. You know that. You gotta know the garlic powder and onion powder comes out pretty fast, like this. Yep. And that's good. Perfect. So we mix it. Should we mix it in there? Not yet. We need some of our crushed red pepper. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't like crushed pepper that much because it makes my... My tongue burn. Well, this is going to add vitamin K and vitamin E and all that kind of stuff to our food. So since we have three spoons in here that has the nutrients and everything on it, we're just going to take all three spoons and just mix it. So um, when mo once mommy put crushed pepper inside a dish, I didn't know this because I didn't taste it. And if mommy told me while I was eating it, I'll be like, spice it, spice it, and run away from my food. Spice it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, you shouldn't keep things from your kids, but sometimes you, it's just information you just don't have to tell them, right? So, oh, by the way, guys, I just wanted to show you our little tiny baby pebble. This came from our garden itself, and yes, so we're going to give our first fruit away because that's the best thing to do. Give away the first fruit, so that way you can say thank you to the earth. And that you are not as important, so you are giving it away to whomever you want to give it away to, right? <laughs> speaking of food. Okay, so speaking of food, right? Alina has someone special she wants to introduce to you guys. 
All right, go ahead. Hurry up. This and this is an aluminum foil with with chocolate arms and chocolate legs. Where did you get her from? I got her from Hershey. Hershey Park. Yeah, Hershey Park. And it's, and this is usually called Hershey's Kisses. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> She's a girl. Yes, so she went to Hershey Park yesterday. <laughs> um, sister, I actually uh, sent you pictures from it, but yeah. So, um, okay, so back to food, right? So we have this paste, right? So this paste right here is our um, paste for our rice. And this is what it looks like. Just so you guys can see that. Nice and beautiful and brown. Right? And we're going to take our rice that we pre-washed, right? And then we're going to put it inside of the pot. You have to move forward so you can. Okay, so we're going to dump our rice inside. Just like See that. You, it almost went in my face. Yeah, because you're not dumping it from a good level. I am a superhero. Okay, so... I can stop food from going in the face. I can stop food from flying in my face. Yep, that's the song of the day. So, <laughs> we're going to take that, that rice that we just had, and we're going to take the sauce that we just made, and we're going to put that on the rice, on top of the rice. There's no oil. There's no um, water or anything in the rice so far. So right now we're going to scoop everything, all those tasty nutrients. And you can pour the starch of the rice from in the water into your plant. You can, because it has nutrients in it. You can also ferment it right right for like a week or so and what i mean by ferment it is by keeping the rice in the water um of course you're not going to eat the fermented rice but you could if you want um because some people do eat fermented rice and it has some properties to it um however you are going to take the fermented rice water and you can put it in your hair as well um and that gives like really good properties for a certain type of hair hair types all right, so now we're going to take our tablespoon and we're going to mix our nutrients into our rice. Can you go get water from the refrigerator? Okay. All right. Thank you, Susha. Okie dokie. So this is what it looks like, just so you guys know when it's all mixed into one another. Make sure it's like all the way through. Something happened. Oh my god! Bullets! Thank you for the raid! Bullets! Thank you for the raid! Oh my god, it's my first raid! I'm so excited! <laughs> Welcome everybody to our cooking stream. We're making our almost famous vegetable fried rice. So yes, we're gonna take our water. Wait, before we, I drink. You're not gonna drink, drink the water. Yes, no, yes. you gotta put it in a cup. <laughs> Here, put it in your ice cream cup. There you go. And we're gonna take the water and we're gonna pour it into our rice. Perfect. How was your stream? Hi, Jesse. Ah, the gang is all back in town. The gang is all back in town. Make sure that everybody go follow Bullets for the raid. His um, handle will be in the chat in two seconds. Yeah, baby. Did you guys know that my birthday is in two days? Ha! So this is a great birthday gift. Thanks. 
Okie dokie. So, shout out to Bullets. Mm. So, this is what the vegetable fried rice in the water would look like. Um, and then we're going to definitely. Did you switch it? You haven't set up the shout out. Oh, okay. So, this is what it looks like right here. Um, I didn't set up the shout out. I didn't know I had to, but I will definitely make sure that I do so. Um, hold on just one second, baby, because okay, we have mommy. to add two bay leaves. Uh, Why? Don't ever eat the bay leaves when, you, when it's in your food. Don't, don't eat the bay leaves when it's in your food. Just toss them out. And it also has nutritious. If it has the food on it, just lick the food off. <laughs> just lick the food off. Okay, so now we're going to take our top, and we're going to put that on there just like that. I don't know what there is. So on the pan, pot, pan, pan, pot. That's a pot. Um, can I, um, Hi, Nightshade. How are you? Yo! <laughs> Mommy? Yes. Can I piece the a piece? No, we're gonna cook the pea. I just want, I just want peas. But you have to cook your peas. You can't just eat the pea. And they have nutrition. Okay, just eat the pea then. No, you gotta eat the whole pea then. Whole pea. Mm, she, delicious. No, she doesn't like it. Look at my face. Look at her face trying to act like she likes it. Now I'm trying to think, like, is she the best person to go at the end to say how she likes the food or not? Because she's like, mmm, delicious, and she doesn't even like it. But yes, so next part that we're going to do, how is everybody doing? I'm so excited. Hi, hi new person. <laughs> it's Nightshade. He's a new person. Yes. <laughs> Please follow the channel. If you're not following, it will help us get affiliate. And that would be awesome. Are you looking at this? She's looking at this, guys. So this is black garlic. Black garlic is basically fermented regular garlic. But it's fermented with a lot of um, nutrients. And it has some really great properties to it. Um, so yes, we're going to cook with the black garlic. It's a sweeter aroma. Yeah, it's a sweeter aroma. And it also gives like a different type of taste to your food versus regular. Did you lick it? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is there juice in the garlic on that thing? Um, because it's its own juices, and they just left it in there. Oh, can, I, can I help you cut it? Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure the skin is off, right? Skin has nutrition. But you don't want to eat the skin because it's gonna be hard and tough, right? Okay, so you can cut that. Okay, right now. You can buy it in cloves. Yes, you can buy it in cloves. Um, this is a new brand that I've been using. They're pretty okay. Um, but I really, really, really love it when it's in cloves. They'll come in a pack like this. Um, and it'll have two um cloves inside of it, and it'll be a whole clove and it'll be black, like a brown color on the outside, and then the inside will be black just like that. She's cutting very well today. Um so yes, so we're gonna put our our rice on a medium low, right? Okie dokie. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna put that in the sink, and I'm going to cut this red onion because we're gonna need it first. Um, Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. Um, um I think. Sorry. Make sure you you make it until it ends up in cold first. Oh yeah, you can put your your uh, onion in something cold so that way it can stop it from 
burning your eyes. But yes, um, I think you can probably get your black your black garlic from uh, Trader Joe's. I think they still have it. I haven't been there in so long. Um, but I think that's where we used to get it from. I haven't been to Trader's for so long. Yet. Yep. There's so many Trader Joe's. Stuff. Yeah, there is. All over the place, right? Yeah. I went to one by... Oh, it's starting to hurt you? Yeah. Okay, so the onion is starting to hurt her, so we're going to give it a nice little rude awakening of cold water. Okay, I can't do both. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm on my way. All right, come. Ah! Here you go. Okay, so got all these cords. Okay. So red onions we're gonna use for this because they taste so much better in uh Asian dishes versus the white onions. Um and yeah, all that good stuff. That's good. That's perfect. That is like absolutely great. Okay, I'll got it from here. Thank you. We'll leave that right there on the side, just like that. No, I there was no skin on it. That's what I was looking at first to make sure there was no skin on it. Right? Do you want to step away for a second so while I'm doing the onions? Okay. So it doesn't bother your eyes. Okie dokie. So she's oh, going to step away like for a second. Looking up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Lena all the way. Yeah. Hey, Okie dokie. This is no, it isn't. Not while I'm cooking. You run into the table. So how was the stream on Friday? We missed some of it. I tried to play for some of it, but it was just uh not really working out as much as I thought it would have. And I totally get your pain sometimes when you guys are on your phones trying to watch streams. Definitely, definitely lags when you're playing those active games that we do on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Ha! She must plug. You. Well, which? How do I set up the the shout out? Same way. Okay. Daddy. What? Which? Uh, okay. Okay. All right, so now, first things first that we're going to do is we're going to turn on our heat. I always turn off the wrong one. Okay, and then we're going to put our grapeseed oil. You don't need very a lot, so this amount right here is more than enough, right? So we're going to put that inside to coat our the bottom of our pan, and we're going to use the ceramic green pan auntie gail and uh sister we're going to use that this pan today for that and then this is the bottom of it it's going to coat the bottom you can also use the cast iron too but this one i love because it like all the vegetables and fruits and and uh, rice just slides off of it and it doesn't really like hold on. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna put the onions and the uh, black garlic. So you're gonna start off with the black garlic first, right? But hold on, let it I'll give you a shuffle the black garlic up. Shuffle into here, okay? Okay. You always use a utensil. Okay. 
so that way everything doesn't get onto your fingers, okay? Okay. And you're wasting food on your fingers. Okay, so now you're going to have to move your thing because how are you going to do it from all the way over there? You're going to put it right in there. Perfect. It's not just perfect. It's perfect. Like perfect. All right, so now we're going to shuffle that around a little bit until you start to smell it. Okay, so you're going to shuffle around your black garlic until you start to smell the aromas of the sweet garlic. And it's really good for Asian dishes. I don't really use it for anything else other than Asian dishes. Um, but if I start to, I will definitely let you guys know first how that works out. Probably do like an experimentation on a Sunday one day. Dancing? Mm -hmm. well, oh, so at Hershey Park yesterday, guys, Alina did a big thing, right? She went on her first water slide by herself, and I was such a proud mama and a nervous wreck at the same time. It was such an amazing ride. It's one of those rides that you got to hold on to the, the front of it, and you belly slide down the... Um, the water slide and it's a, race. it's a race right so it was about five of us on the on the race at the same time i didn't even care what place i came in as long as she got through first and she got to go on the ride first that's when i went down and so the whole time while she's like going down i'm screaming through the other side like Elena, you can do this. You can do this. Oh my goodness, baby, you got this. You got this. Just keep your head in the game. You got this. Right? Screaming to the top of my lungs. She didn't hear anything I said. Because I get it. Because, because the water was, was like, like, it was, like, it was like, right? Okay, so the water was doing that. All right. So to be continued. All right, just give me a second. So, the red onions, we're going to put those in there. I don't know why he's running. And we're going to um, also, if Dooglu um, was in here, you can also use that wok, if you watch this later, Google. Um, so you can use a wok for this recipe as well. Um, but yeah, so she's sliding down, or whatever, and then there's a part that it opens, right? So you can kind of see who's coming in the, in the places. And so I look back, water flying in my face, and look back, and I don't see her. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what happened to her? Maybe she's ahead. Maybe she's going to win, right? So I'm like, all right, let's go. So I get down, go down to the very bottom, the end of the race. My sister goes through first. The other two kids that was with us was came out after. And then me. And then Alina was missing. I couldn't find her. So I'm like trying to run towards the, the hole. And she finally comes out. Her hands is on the thing. Her head is all the way in, and she has her eyes closed. Doesn't even notice that the ride is over. Then she finally noticed that she came to a complete stop, and she looks up, and we all start cheering for her. It was so great. I was so proud of you, right? Yeah, I wouldn't go on that ride again. <laughs> they said, wow, great for her. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the highlight of yesterday. What's the bean sprouts for? The bean sprouts is for our food. Um, as far as bean sprouts go, right? So there's a warning about bean bean sprouts that if you have an immune deficiency, um, not to go for bean sprouts, and that's because 
Sometimes they can have E. coli on them because of the way they process them. So I recommend if you do have an autoimmune disease or anything like that, do not eat the bean sprouts. You can do this dish without bean sprouts. Um, you can use alfalfa sprouts if you like. Instead, you can use um, all different type watercress, whatever it is that you want to use, but you don't have to use the bean sprouts. The bean sprouts is just an additive to it, um, and it helps with healthy heart and cholesterol as well. But if you don't need it, you don't you don't need it. Okay, so. Just so you know, for the bean sprouts. Mm, yes. Yeah, so the salt, the onions. Watch your head. So the onions are sautéed, and this is what they look like. They're nice and brown and caramelized. Not quite caramelized because there's no uh, juices coming off of them. But this is what they look like. Alina, do not put your hands in front of the camera. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. So then we have pre cut some green red peppers, some broccoli, and some carrots. And we're going to also add that to the sauteed onions. And all of this is staying at a medium high heat. Oh. Uh, Alina, how do you walk right behind me? You didn't even say excuse me. Sorry. Okay, so the broccoli is our calcium, our red peppers is our vitamin C, and our carrots is our biocaritin, and also our um, folic acid. Alright, so there we go for that, as far as that goes so far. Alina, don't type in chat, don't type in chat. Can you get down, please? Okie dokie. So, we are done with all of these items except for this. So, we're going to keep that on the side. Right, and can you put this in the recycling bin? This as well. A chef always knows you clean as you go, right? So, cleaning everything up because we don't need it anymore. Okie dokie. So we got that part. And we're going to keep the top off. And the reason why we're keeping the top off is because we want to saute our vegetables and we're not going to steam them. They're going to get a lot softer if you steam them, but the taste that we're looking for is going to be that sauteed vegetable taste. And at this time, Alina, what are you doing? We're going to take some more coconut aminos and we're going to add some to our sauteed vegetables. They're going to go in when this gets a little softer. Right. So the bean sprouts right now, we're going to wash them off. Oh, 
you got to make sure you wash your hands before and after. Again, before and after you touch the green sprouts. Auntie Gail says hi, Alina. Hi. Okay. Are you going to wash your hands properly? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what our vegetables look like thus far. All right. Nice and smoothing, nice and clean. <laughs> Perfect timing. The gimbal was not charged. Okay, okay, so now we can look, take our fork, and we can stab our carrots. If our carrots are nice and al dente, which is a nice softness, right, we can definitely move forward, right? So they are, and we're going to add our peas. Okay, why are you on top of the sink? Okay, get down. Thank you. Thank you. Alina, thank you. Um, this stuff will come out if you do that. I think the one that is still not for nothing. So you're going to let the water run on the bean sprouts and let them get off any of the extra E. coli or anything that is on it, salmonella, whatever it is, from the process of when they made it. All right, and then you wash your hands again after you deal with them because in the case there is salmonella on them, you are washing that off your hands. So you do not get sick. You don't need all that soap. Okay, and then you're gonna take this and then you're gonna put it inside as well. And at this time, we're going to take the rice vinegar. This has very little, so we're going to sprinkle some of that, which is basically nothing. And then we're going to use our brand new bottle. Okay, we're going to sprinkle some of that inside. And because we have the taste that we want and the saute, this is where we add our top. All right, and then there you go for that part. And our rice is finished, and we're going to move that to the back. She was doing a little bit too much, guys. I had to let her go into the end of the stream. Okie dokie. So, so far, everything is basically done. We're just waiting for it to be ready for plating. 
Do we have any questions or anything like that? Let's talk. All right, I guess we're all good as far as questions go. Um, I was probably lagging. Okay, yeah. Yes, I did use grapeseed oil. Um, I don't really use many other oils. Um, and if I do use any oil, other oils, it would be avocado oil or um, sesame seed oil. But if I'm for everyday cooking, I'm using grapeseed oil um, for everything. Um, the sesame seed oil comes in for Asian dishes, but because we didn't use any oil because we're using the grapeseed oil, I didn't want to put two oils in the dish. So I used the tahini instead for the sesame seeds. And if you want to add, um, like, a seafood kind of uh, flavor to it, you can definitely do, um, like, an oyster mushroom or um, a different type of mushroom. Or you can do a, a seafood cauliflower. Um, and that I'm going to – I'll teach on another time, on another stream. But the seafood cauliflower has, like um, – like a scallop slash um, crab kind of resemblance to it. Um, and the cauliflower will add that extra seafood taste to it. Um, and that we're using nori wraps and we're also using obey um, for that. So nori wraps is a seaweed and it has that extra seafood um, sea taste to your food. So we're using that. Some people use this other stuff. I think it starts with a kababi or something like that. I'm not really sure the name of it. But um, yeah, this is this one is pretty easy. Yeah, this one's really easy and it's really good. And it, it, it lasts a pretty good amount. Like you're going to be full after a bowl um, and a half. So after a bowl and a half, you're most likely going to be um, very full off of this dish. So you're not going to really need to eat too much of it. So you can just make a cup of rice um, and then a couple of vegetables and put it all together. Um, speaking of putting it all together, we are going to look at our rice. Normally, I would keep the rice off for like 30 minutes. But today we are, since we are going to add it to something else, it's perfectly fine to take it off. So this is what our rice is going to look like. So it's nice and brown. And then you have like those chunks of peanut butter in there as well. So it gives it like a Thai kind of flavoring to it, and then you have those bay leaves that's in there that we're going to take out. So we took our bay leaves out, and I'm going to fluff. The rice.
there's a tad bit of a mush to it. Um, and that's because I took the rice off a little bit early, but it's okay um, from the steam. But this is what it looks like fluffed up so you guys can see. And then this is going to be added to our um, vegetables in a few seconds. So this actually didn't really take us that long. We started at 4, right? And it's 4.46 and our food is almost done. So this is only taking about um, 45 minutes or so to prepare. Um, so it's a pretty quick meal. So we're going to take our rice and we're going to just dump it right in. Got some more fluffing to come out. Some of it is going to stick a little bit um, because of the peanut butter. Um, but yeah. So um, put it down at a lower heat. I kept it on a little bit longer than I was supposed to. So it did start to stick to the bottom. But. It wasn't a lot. We didn't lose a lot. We just lost like maybe three cups, I mean three uh, spoons, which isn't bad. And then we're going to take our rice and we're going to mix it in, basically fold it into our vegetables. Soaky. Voila, guys, we're done. So, Let you see what it looks like. You guys ready? So this is our vegetable fried rice in the pan. Very nice and put together. You have vegetables in every bite. So I'm going to plate it and we're going to get to it. Yeah. Um, if you have any uh, sesame seeds um, for plating, you can definitely use that. You can use garnishes of um, cilantro. Um, to add a little bit of freshness to it as well, if you like.
Let me take a picture. No, I already have a picture of this. This is already on uh, the Discord. Just so you guys know, I'm going to update it with the tahini sauce because we did on that one, we have the sesame seed oil. Um, but uh, you can either use a fork for chopsticks, right? Chopsticks or a fork, depending on which one you'd rather do. And then... So here we are. Here's our vegetable fried rice with our garnish of uh, some cilantro for color. You can add some sesame seeds if you like to garnish as well. Um, but you're not going to really taste it. So it's not really needed. Uh, but it's good if you're going to try and impress somebody and with the colors and stuff. But yeah. Um, Alina, your turn. Let's see which one she picks if she chooses a chopstick or a fork. Yeah, I wish this was like smell o vision. <laughs> you can scratch and smell. I'll just clean out the sink. Hmm. Which one do I do? Yep. <laughs> Taste tester. Make sure you blow it. The beans taste good. Beans sprouts taste good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Thumbs up. Okay, so we got a seal of approval. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Thank you for the raid bullets, and thank you for stopping by to say hello. Um, please give us a follow um, and stick around for our raid. Have a great Sunday, everybody.